Serious men of Reddit who have been raped by women, what's your story? I came very close, at a New Year's party a long time ago. Got extremely hammered and passed out in a bathroom. This girl I'd never met before was offering to help me to the bed downstairs, and the next thing I know, I'm waking up to this girl trying to get me hard. I was so drunk, all I could do was sort of push her off, but she wouldn't stop. Eventually a friend of mine popped his head in and I yelled for him to help me, and he caught on pretty quick and cussed her out until she finally left. I had a good friend who was doing a couple of months time for some driving offenses. He specifically asked me to look out for his GF whilst he was inside. One night she called and asked if I could come pick her up as she was upset. Not a worry, we went and grabbed some food, went back to my place, watched a movie, she smoked a bit and I had a few drinks. I made a bed up for her on the couch and went to bed. Woke up with her riding me, I was furious, it was rape. There was zero consent on my behalf. I pushed her off me. The first thing she said was can't wait to tell my friend that she'd fucked his friend whilst he was in prison. Luckily I told him first he believed me and kicked her ass to the curb. Everyone thought it was funny as hell but it wasn't, it made me feel sick and violated. Twisted bitch. Was blackout drunk at a party, got put to bed by a friend, woke up to a girl bouncing on me. I was 14 and that was my virginity. I didn't feel violated or anything at the time or even today. But I didn't consent at all. Shit. Edit, cheers for the awards everyone. A lot are asking how 14 year olds are drunk. I thought it was common for youngsters to party. Everyone in my town did this, regardless of the school they attended. Maybe it's cause if from a poor region of the UK? To the couple asking if I could have given consent. Impossible, I'd been tucked up to bed spark out, woke up to the deed being done before swiftly passing back out. I remember it but had it confirmed by the same friend who put me to bed, as he walked in a couple times during, he thought I'd woken up and done it, naturally. The points on virginity are interesting. Whenever I've said how I lost my virginity, I just said it was that situation but I left out the gory bits. When I was 12, a nurse gave me a routine physical exam and then had me strip naked and lie down on the exam table. Saying it was part of the physical, she groped my testicles and fondled my penis until I got an erection. She then fingered and digitally penetrated my anus. For decades, I assumed it was just an embarrassing incident. It was only when I posted my experience on a Reddit thread and a bunch of people pointed out I had been assaulted that I recognized what happened. I didn't think I'd post about it again but the attitude of your friend infuriated me because it was the same attitude I held that caused me so much shame. After all, if my dick got hard I must have enjoyed it, right? It's a terrible and demeaning notion, one that's too often internalized by the abused. My girlfriend at the time, decided she wanted to get pregnant regardless of my feelings on the subject, and stopped taking her birth control pills. This resulted in me not touching her for a few months, as I wasn't ready to have kids. One day I came home from work, having worked 16-hour shifts for two weeks in a row, I just hit the shower and went straight to bed where I literally passed out. I woke an hour later with her straddling me, mid-sexual activity. I said no but she persisted. I then forcibly removed her from me, and slept in the living room. Suffice it to say, that relationship came to a halt quickly thereafter. Somehow a majority of the people I've told this, think it's funny that I think I was raped, because I'm a man and, you can't get raped by your girlfriend. I'm not capable of saying the story here, but just for awareness, my mother, while I was like 8 to 12. Same here my mother is a waste of oxygen. I was abused physically mentally and sexually on the daily until I fought back, then she spun the story and the cops arrested me at 13 for fighting back. I then had to go to a group home and she had the audacity to pick me up from there and send me to a mental hospital. I'm 40 now have a loving caring wife and three great kids. But my mind is eternally fucked. I will not shed one tear when she dies. If you ever need to talk I'm here. I had a date that led to going back to her house and watching movies, smoking some weed and some drinks. To this day, the most beautiful woman I've ever met and super cool so I didn't wanna rush anything. I remember drinking one drink. 
And I got intensely lightheaded and everything was super blurry, and I woke up halfway, I guess as what you would call it, more of a daze really to her on top of me and I passed back out. The next day she was like I'm so happy that happened and blah blah blah. I didn't speak to her again, and got tested. All as well no herpes or anything, and it's been 9 months and she doesn't have a kid. So I say all as well. But I definitely didn't consent. I was 13 or 14 and my buddy asked some friends to come over for a sleep over one weekend. I've been over there a few times already and I enjoy chilling with him. Yeah it was fun and his mom was one of those cool moms and bought us all alcohol and we all got wasted. It was my first time getting drunk and I did not handle it well. Had like, IDK, 4 Mike's hearts, lol. Anyway, all my buddies and I were wasted and everyone started to pass out cause everyone was 13 or so and never had a beer in their life. I was the only one awake and after my friend's mom got blankets for everyone she asked me to come with her. I follow her into her bedroom and she tells me to take off my clothes, I kinda froze up. I didn't know what to do and I just did what I was told. She then took her clothes off and she started to do thing to me and told me to do things to her. I didn't know what to do, I was pretty scared, and I just did what I was told. I was a virgin and afterwards I felt pretty fucking disgusted with myself, and still do. Without going into the gory details I did a lot of stuff that night being brand new to it all. Well it turned out she did that with a lot of my buddies all with her son not knowing what was going on. She got arrested and sentenced for it eventually. Now, I'm 24 and married. I have hypersexuality, I think, to counteract what happened cause my wife tells me my sex drive is way too high and that she can't really handle it. I've never told her. I'm too embarrassed. I told her I was a virgin when we met and she was too so now I'm afraid if I bring it up that I've technically had sex with someone else she would be disgusted with me and leave me. I was around 14 in boarding school in Nigeria. No alcohol or anything involved and it was four girls in senior class and it was some sort of initiation to a gang. I went out to take a pee around midnight, yeah the only option was by the bush that late, remember weeing and they attacked me from behind. They pinned me down and took rounds with me. Couldn't go any more after the second girl, so they just beat me up pretty bad and left. Didn't say a word about it to anyone till this day. One of the girls was expelled a while later for being pregnant. They pinned in on her school boyfriend at the time. Something still tells me that kid is mine. P.S. I was very scrawny and scared to shit so I don't scream for anything plus one of them had a machete, tools we used to clear fields from wild grass etc. Obligatory note, this happened to a friend of mine, not to me. I have a gay friend. He's smart, fun to be with, and would generally be regarded as very good looking. He is also rather small, about 5 feet 4 inches or 5 feet 5 inches, I'd guess, though I think he wears lifts so I'm not sure. He's the kind of person with a big personality, so you don't notice his height so much. One thing that it took me a very, very long time to notice is that he is extremely nervous around women, particularly if they are taller and or stockier than he is, he's small and slim. I remarked on this to him a couple of times, but he always brushed it off. Eventually, though, he explained that he'd been raped by a woman at a party. He explained that she was taller and heavier than him, and had a similar female friend. Both of them found him attractive, and he implied to me that one of them clearly had a fetish for smaller men. The friend basically held him down in one of the bedrooms upstairs from the party, I think he'd gone upstairs to use the bathroom, while the woman pulled down his pants and raped him. I believe this was oral and vaginal sex. For obvious reasons I didn't ask about the details. I asked him why he hadn't gone to the police, but he explained that he didn't believe that they would help. I have the impression that he had approached the crisis center at his college, but they seem to have brushed it off, I don't know why. From what I can work out, the experience left him badly traumatized, and he continues to be very uncomfortable around women. He doesn't really talk about it though, I only learned about this because I happened to press him on the issue. It does seem a terrible thing to have to endure, though. I was really young. Stayed at a friend's house. His older sister and her friend got me into her room. Was going to teach me how to kiss. It turned into them using me as an object. I just froze. 
I was maybe 12, 13. I was so young that girls weren't something I thought of, I liked sports and boy stuff. I didn't tell a soul about it until I was in my 20s. They told as many people as would listen. I denied it and didn't let up. I was working at a diner and the girl left me her number. I texted her and she came over after my shift. I had worked 12 hours and got pretty stoned when I got home, leading to me being too tired to have sex that night. She stayed overnight, and I was woken up the next morning to her writing me. It was a weird feeling to wake up having sex you didn't consent to with someone you don't know. My best friend got me plastered drunk, and when I tried to say no she said, do you really think you can say no to me? I didn't even know what had happened until she confessed that she had raped me. Edit, this read confusing to me, so to clarify. I don't remember it happening, or telling her no. I was blacked out. She confessed to me years later that she was sober enough to know what she was doing was wrong, knew I couldn't consent, and that I had tried to stop her and she forced me. I only remember waking up naked, with cuts on my back from her fingernails. I was 14, and in 9th grade, with my girlfriend at the time. The relationship was still new, and I was a virgin, so I wasn't really in a hurry to have sex. Our school had half days once every month or so, and she brought me to her house on one of said half days. It was around November or December of that year, so around this time. I was a pretty heavy drinker ever since 7th grade. Shit had gone down with my dad, other family issues, school stress, etc. So I had started drinking fairly young. When we got to her house she gave me a drink. Then another. Then another. One thing I noticed was that she wasn't drinking at all, but at the time I just didn't think anything of it. Eventually she started kissing me and we made out, which was fine, we had done that before. If by, made out, you mean, she latched onto my face like one of those facehugger things. Then she started touching lower, which got some, bodily reactions, if you catch my drift, but I moved her hand away. To which she replied, you're hard, you want it. And held me down. Now, she was a rather, large, girl, and I'm an incredibly scrawny guy. Combine that with the fact that I'm already a few drinks in, holding me down was no problem. I squirmed, I tried to push her off, but she just tore my clothes off and did her thing until she was done. Nobody was home, it was noon so the neighbors probably weren't home to hear. All I could do was just lie there and take it. Afterwards she kicked me out of her house, texted me the following morning that we were breaking up, no shit, Sherlock, and to make it worse, started spreading a rumor amongst our mutual friends that I had raped her. This rumor spread across the entire school, and I was shunned for most of my high school career for something I didn't do. This whole event completely fucked me up. I developed a fear of being touched, I'm afraid to have sex again, and up until recently I was having constant nightmares about it every time I went to sleep. Happened when I was about 18 to 20, still living with my parents. They were away for the weekend so I was set for a weekend of wow and beer, yeah I know. On Friday evening a woman who was renting an apartment from our neighbors that was about 40 sent a text asking what I was doing and wondered if I wanted to watch a movie. We had talked a few times when meeting outside when she rode past on her horse, so thought why not, could be nice with some company. She came over and brought some wine. As we watched the movie I gradually got drunker and every time I came back from the toilet my glass was refilled to the brim. After a while I got properly shit-faced, and all of a sudden we were naked in the tub. Can't remember if anything happened there, but next thing I remember I am naked in my bed, with her sitting on the side. I remember saying, I think it's time for you to go home, but she put her hand under the blanket grabbing my dick saying, do I have to leave already? Then she got naked and got on top of me with me just kinda having an out of body experience or something, I hardly remember moving or feeling anything besides the room spinning. Afterwards she just gave me a kiss and left. Think I only realized that it was in fact quite rapey when I wrote it in a thread here on reddit in some askreddit thread a few years later. Okay not me. But my brother said he had sex with a woman probably twice his age when he was, I think, 15. She definitely took advantage of him and his inexperience. He said, looking back it's she was taking advantage of me, but he just shrugged. It's gross that some woman get away with shit like that. I told my wife, now ex-wife, that I wanted a divorce. 
I was emotionally done with the marriage, but due to neither one of us being financially able to move out at the time, we continued living together. She didn't want the kids to know yet, so instead of me sleeping on the living room couch, we continued to share a bed. I made it crystal clear that I was okay sharing a bed, but I didn't want to have any type of sexual relationship with her anymore, which went on for several weeks. I was very depressed at the time and was taking nightly cocktails of Tylenol PM, Benadryl, and NyQuil to help me sleep. One night, I took about 15 Tylenol PMs, Benadryl chased with NyQuil. I nearly passed out in the shower, but managed to get out, dry off, get some shorts on and crawl into bed. I was completely out of it. Next morning, I woke up and she started talking about how amazing last night was. I had no idea what she was talking about. So she told me that we had sex. She said she asked if it was okay, and I didn't say no, so she went ahead and did it. I didn't say no because I wasn't talking, on account of being passed out. I told her that she knew I didn't want to do that, but she said that it was good and I enjoyed it, so she didn't see what the big deal was. After all, we were married and it was just sex. No big deal. It wasn't too long after that, that I attempted suicide. Not necessarily because of this incident, and left for good once I got out of the hospital. I talked to some friends of mine about it. Told them, I think my wife raped me. They agreed that that's exactly what it was but I decided not to do anything about it. We only talked about it once after that, during a text argument while we were in the process of divorce. She said I was crazy, it wasn't rape, and that I was just mocking actual rape victims. Well, I wasn't violently raped or anything like that. But I was 13 and she was like 30. It was wrong, I was a child and she groomed me. I don't think I have any residual trauma or anything like that but I do feel upset when I think about it. I had one case where I was at a party. I had been drinking and had a girl that had been trying to hook up with me previously but I hadn't wanted to. She wasn't my type. So we're drinking and she's there, she's being cool, I remember pieces of us being in a car. She was on top of me. Woke up in my car and was like yo WTFBC I had at most 4 to 5 drinks as I had planned to be driving home. So I guess at one point this girl got my a drink and crushed a Xanax which I had only taken once before at this point in my life and put it in the drink. A lot of our buddies just thought it was funny. I absolutely didn't. It took me years to come to terms with it. Edit, thanks for the overwhelming response. I didn't think it would be upvoted like this. I am not friends with that group anymore, and haven't been for some time. This happened when I was 19 and am 35 now. I also know that drinking and driving isn't good, I don't do that anymore. This happened 16 years ago when I wasn't living as clean as I do now. It did take me a long time to come to terms with it, but this happened in 2005 when these things just weren't taken seriously, at least in Texas where I lived at the time. The story actually got worse with the female trying to make sure I'm okay by harassing me for months, then ended up lying and telling everyone she was pregnant so I'd talk to her. That conversation ended immediately when she admitted she had just lied and wanted to make sure I was okay. I am doing pretty great in life now. Have a wife and I do what I love to do. I was honestly shocked to hear from others who have been through similar situations. Breaks my heart, tbh. Starts as it often does, out for a drink with a friend, lady. Ended up chatting with a lot of new folk. Met some girl who was a friend of a friend. She was sober for the night, and ended up offering me and my friend a ride home when we decided to go. Cool, cheaper than Uber. I ended up getting wasted. Rest of the story is as recounted to me by my friend. End of the night as we heading home. Girl asks where friend lives. Friend says she's spending the might at mine, as we'd planned, we've been besties for better part of a decade at this point. Girl says she's not. Friend explains her bag is at mine, with her keys in. Girl says, where do you stay? It's that or I throw you out here. I'm passed out in the backseat unresponsive. Friend eventually gives an address, where she knows she can get in, and immediately tries to contact my roommates, to no avail. I woke up naked, alone in bed, with a used condom on. You know as much about what happened as I do. My piano teacher, 35F. 
I was about 11, when I first went, probably 14 when I finished. She was married, had a child. It started with comments, inappropriate ones, looking back she was testing the water, sitting next to me on the piano stool, hand on legs at times. I remember her telling me, my eyes are up here, just to make me feel awkward, when I know I wasn't looking. She then flashed me them saying would I focus now. I was so nervous and had no idea what to say. It got a little bit worse each week, ever so slowly. I honestly have blanked this out my mind for years. I think she touched me and made me come and that's it, nothing more. I made an excuse and quit piano to my parents. Never told anyone the full extent. She used to let me get away with not doing piano work and say it was our secret, which I realized she was encompassing the whole thing being our secret. I'm deeply embarrassed about it. I'm 27 and totally believe my kinks are related to that experience. How messed up a? I was 11. A girl from a couple grades above me, approximately 14 years old, invited me over. I had a big crush on her. I was already 6 feet at 11 so I looked older. I get to her house and she has a friend there. Her friend is hanging out by the stairs while we are start making out. Her friend walks over asks me to take out my dick and I say no. The girl I like then gets off of me and goes behind me and holds me down by my shoulders and the other girl tries to take off my pants. I push them both off, go around the couch, and go towards the door. The girl I like is blocking the door and won't let me get past her. I probably could have pushed her harder out of the way but I still liked her. They convinced me to sit back down and then asked me why I didn't want to take out my dick. After explaining they then started to harass me and make fun of me saying I wasn't a man because men want their dick touched. After another attempt at the door and being humiliated I reluctantly took off my pants. The girl I liked went to another room while her friend performed oral sex on me. I didn't like her friend nor was I remotely attracted to her. At the time I was old enough to get erections but never had an orgasm or ejaculated or anything. I think the friend was expecting me to come but I never did. I was kind of just waiting for it to be over. After what seemed to be forever she stopped and then complained that I didn't come which made me feel even more humiliated. I didn't have a consensual sexual experience until I was 15 and to this day hate blowjobs and can't get off from them. Girls in the past and currently my wife insist on providing them but it always ends up being awkward and goes nowhere. I try to explain but they can't understand my experience and why I just didn't just use my strength to force my way out of that house. Throwaway account. Happened when I was in high school. I had a teacher who I was really close with. She was my first class of the day, and due to my family's situation, my dad dropped me off at school a couple hours before school started. She would also get to school early, so I would hang out in her classroom because at the teach and I were close. I was her favorite student. I would help her set up the classroom for the day, we would joke around all the time, sometimes the jokes got a little less PG than they should have. One day while I was helping her set up the room she started touching me inappropriately. I was 18, and consenting at the start. It felt good, she was an attractive woman. We started having sex almost every morning. This went on for months until I started to feel like we should stop. It didn't feel right, she was married, I was her student, and I didn't like sneaking around. The morning I tried to bring this up to her she wouldn't hear me. She said that if I didn't want to, I wouldn't be getting hard, and that she could tell I was enjoying it, so I should stop lying. We kept fucking for a few more weeks before I tried again. This time she asked me if she was ugly. If she was too old for me. Basically gaslit me into continuing to see her up until graduation. I liked her. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. It wasn't because she was unappealing to me. She kept manipulating me, and asking loaded, leading questions the remainder of my time at the school to keep me seeing her. When I graduated, I went to a college across the country, and after graduating college, I stayed in the new state. Last I heard, she still works at the school. I was 10 years old and my sister and I went to a sleepover with two girlfriends of us the elder one was 15 at the time. I didn't know much about sex neither was interested. In the middle of the night this girl started moaning to my ear and asked me to hug her. 
When I did she lied on top of me, my sister and hers were asleep, and slid my pants and underwear down and I couldn't understand. But the feeling I could identify was fear definitely. After a while she got off of me and asked me if I had a boner and told me that that means I liked it. Honestly I can't say I liked it because I didn't even understood what happened until some years after. My mind made me forget this memory until I was around 18. It's the first time I share this story and now in my 30s I get that this episode of my life could have triggered the problems I have faced with the apposite sex such as my low self-esteem, lack of confidence, hypersexualization and in my teenage years my fear of talking and facing girls I liked. I have thought about going to therapy but I feel ashamed. Any good advice or words will be appreciated. I was a tween in between 6th and 7th grade. Went on a carnival cruise with my family and friends. Had kissed a girl, but that's about it. Had tried alcohol before but didn't know my limits. We met up with a group of older kids, maybe 3 to 4 years older, and they had some alcohol so we hung out and drank a bit. Went to the teen club. Then the hot tub. This girl was talking to me, but no kissing or anything like that. We're tired and our rooms are closed so walking back. Go to my room and she follows me in. Tell her I want to lay down so she lays down and cuddles. Fall asleep. Wake up at some point mid-sex. Wasn't really coherent or sure what do to. We finish and I go back to bed and she leaves. That's how I lost my virginity. Saw her a few times after that and kept in touch for a few months afterwards, but definitely felt like something was stolen from me. My junior year of college, I got blackout drunk at a party while visiting a different school. For the record, I was a 210 pounds rugby player that powerlifted. I was drinking 151 and beer all day and was noticeably drunk when we got to my buddy's friend's place. We leave and my buddy and a girl are helping me walk to this party as I fade in and out of consciousness. We get there and that's when I pass out. I don't remember what happened between then and waking up but apparently I passed out on this girl's shoulder. And she carried, dragged me almost a mile back to her place while I was in and out of consciousness. This girl carried me, a 200 pounds power lifter and rugby player, back to her place. I woke up in the morning with my shirt on, no pants or shoes, blood on my fingers and arm, a hickey in the center of my neck, my buddy's phone number on my arm, missing a contact, alone in a different apartment. I wandered around outside and after an hour made my way back to where my friend was. And found out everyone watched, took pictures of me getting carried away. I was in a relationship at the time and felt absolutely gross about it while everyone laughed. I couldn't even tell her about what happened because who would believe my story? I can handle myself in a fight against most people and nobody cares to handle this type of shit, it'd be my fault. She texted my buddy that morning saying she was happy he brought me and to bring me back to see her again. I've told people and it gets brushed off as if it were nothing, especially by females in my instance. The amount of guys I know with similar stories is disheartening. Went to a small party when I was 16 and got blackout drunk. All I remember is puking my guts up and then a girl who I'd known for a while, someone who I trusted helping me to a bed. I wake up naked and her on top of me. I then passed out again within a few seconds. The next day I confronted her about it and she obviously denied it. Because my mom is incredibly understanding I told her about it and she took me to get tested for a few things. My mom is the only one who knows. Not even my fiancé knows even though I know she'd understand seeing as she was raped at a young age by a close family member. The friend and I never spoke again. I still fucking hate her for what she did to me that night. I wasn't exactly saving myself for anything special but she took my virginity that night. Something that I wanted to be sober for. I was around 13 to 14, I was staying at a friend's house a couple of towns over from where I lived. We went to his sister's place where there was a party. Being young and dumb I drank first time and ended up staying the night there. Party ended and most people went home, only a couple of kids stayed. There was this 16 year old girl, a friend of my friend I think, who was sleeping in the same room as me. At some point I felt a bit sick so I couldn't sleep and we were talking. She came on the bed I was in and started kissing me, then fondling and so forth. 
I didn't want that because until that point I had never even kissed a girl, but being drunk I couldn't really stop her. She said things like, I won't tell if you won't, you'll be a man after this. And other sick things looking back. So we did the thing and to this day I don't remember a lot of it, just feeling sick. I think this caused me to go on a sex spree when I was 14 and breaking many girls' hearts, eventually my own too. I don't remember where my friend was in all of this going on, but that was the last time I saw him since I avoided that town from then on. Now I'm still struggling with depression, needing validation and at this point haven't slept with anyone in almost two years because those memories are coming back and making me self-conscious. But hey, at least I'm three months sober, right? Edit, cheers for all the comments, you're all so supportive. Also, my first ever awards. Thanks for the silver lads. When I was 14 my then girlfriend at the time, she was 16, slipped it in raw, pinned me down and continued to ride me after we had used our last condom. I ended up breaking free, and managed to push her off me after continually telling her that it wasn't okay what she was doing. I guess it was her attempt to try and get herself pregnant. BPD is a hell of a psychiatric disorder. 